What's going on, mother truckers? So we have a question of the day. And if you have a question of the day and would like to ask all the thousands of truck drivers out there in America, uh, definitely hit me up at mothertruckernews at gmail.com. She writes, uh, hi, my husband was recently terminated for switching to off duty while on duty while he was waiting for a load with no warning Do you have any advice? Uh, I asked some more questions and I say, you know, what was the specific thing that he did? And she wrote, no problem. Uh, Thank you for your response. He was working for a Mapco field delivery for one year. Uh, Out of nowhere, they called him and said that they noticed he had been switching to off duty periodically and asked why. He told them that he would switch to off duty while idle. Then they said that they would investigate, return, and said it was illegal, and they terminated him. No coaching, no warnings. Uh, Mother truckers, what are your thoughts about this? Uh, Because there are so many people that say that when you are being loaded or unloaded, that uh, you do have to be marked as on duty. Other people say that if you're in the sleeper berth, uh, you can be off duty. You just uh, uh, can't be touching anything. And others say that if you disconnect your tractor from your trailer and then you go off the premises and then you park somewhere, that's when you can actually be off duty. You know, uh, there are so many uh, variables in this. Uh, Mother truckers, comment down below. What are your thoughts? Uh, one thing, and this is my opinion, is that a lot of trucking companies, they have their policies, you know, and this possibly could have been Mapco's policy that you have to stay on duty when uh, you're loading or unloading. And especially if it's, you know, something that's hazmat, right? And so mother truckers comment down below, uh, what has your experience been with this? Uh, did he wrongfully get fired or definitely were they in the right? Uh, I've seen a lot of DOT, uh, troopers, uh, give inspections for stuff like this and they usually kind of disregard it. I've seen loosely, but then again, you know, what are your thoughts? Uh, we need some pros uh, in here. Uh, comment down below so that this truck driver could get the right information and others and new truck drivers can as well. Uh, thank you so much for this question. I'm going to leave this anonymous because, you know, someone did get terminated. But uh, mother truckers, comment down below.